Hello everyone, my name is Vacious V and we did it! We hit 300 subscribers in literally less than 20 days. I could not believe it. 200 came on May 2nd and the reason why I will always remember that is because it's a family member's birthday. So of course, I'm not going to forget that. Wow, 300. 300! <laughs> and now it's... 300 plus where are you all coming from like honestly <laughs> wow i'm jeez i i seriously cannot believe it that's still the size of a small venue but i guess a little bit of a bigger venue i know i said i wasn't really gonna do anything for 300 or 400 whatever but it just it doesn't feel right first i apologize for the glare of my glasses there's nothing to see besides the reflection of myself so uh, i know these are kind of old now but i'm going to open and review, quote review, to the best of my ability, U 2s FNAF U 2s I waited forever for these guys, because I, whoa, because I ordered these way back, I think, when was it? I think it was either like December or January or something, it was months ago, and I finally got them, and for some reason, instead of putting all four of them together, Foxy came last, I think he came about a few days later, and that genuinely worried me because i was like where's foxy let me see if i can uh get these out i already like how the box looks and the reason why i was debating about opening these is because it comes in a plastic and i've never really gotten anything in a plastic before oh my gosh i hope i don't break it hi all right here we go oh it looks so cute <laughs> oh wait a minute hold on wait does this come out too Oh yeah, it does. I think. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it. But yeah, here is the. Is it the same thing? No, not really. Okay. So yeah, we got Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica on the side there. And then in the back, you got Freddy. So that's fine. I'm greatly sorry for the reflection. But there's that. And then on all of the boxes, it has Bonnie on it, and it says, "Let's rock." Okay, so here is Freddy Fazbear himself. Again, I am sorry for the reflection. And then we have him again on the side. And then in the back, I would guess they each have their own description. My name is Freddy. I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a... Oh! My name is Freddy. I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a big bow tie. I'm a big brown bear, but don't be scared. I'm a real fun loving guy. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> the, um... Oh my gosh, the, I don't know what it's called, the, the Freddy Fazbear song. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, but yeah. And then you have their little poster right here. So cute. And of course you got pizza, you got Freddy's shadow, you got a little Freddy plush here, the balloons. Just a reminder, friends are forever. Number two. Number two? So who's number one? What? Okay. I don't think I actually want to take them out of the boxes, unfortunately. Maybe... Ah! <laughs> I'm so hesitant because I just don't want to ruin them. But let's see if I can open it without damaging it. That would be lovely, you know. Okay, there we go. Oh, look how cute! It's like the little office and I'm sorry for the glare. You got the three of them in the office. Oh, it's a poster. But yeah. And then here is Freddy Fazbear. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. I'm not sure if I want to do this with the other ones. Oh, okay. That's how cute. Look, it's like a little door. Hopefully when I open it, it doesn't fall. It's like a little... It's like a little door. Oh, it just comes right off. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but still, it's like a little door. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. I would love to have these on my shelf. They are so adorable. He's got his microphone. It's so nice and detailed. Now back in the box he goes. All right, and next we got Bonnie. One of my favorites. And I guess I am gonna open all of them, begrudgingly. <laughs> I just don't want them to get ruined. I mean, maybe I should've just worn gloves. Let me see, is there anything different on this box? It doesn't seem like it, yeah. Okay, so the outside is all the same and here we have Bonnie sorry for the glare let's see on the side we got him again and the back it says 
Bonnie's my name, I'm hopping along, floppy ears and a cottontail. My guitar is blazing, this rabbit's hair raising, just listen to me well. <laughs> it's always kind of hard for me to read song lyrics without actually either singing the song or thinking the song. It's, oh, it says, it's nice to meet you. Okay, I guess I'm opening this one too. Oh, wait, they both have little things on the top. I didn't see that the first time. Hold on, let me check Freddy again. No! Great, okay. Where fantasy meets fun, that's what Freddy says. Where fantasy meets fun. And then Bonnie, ah! <laughs> and then Bonnie says, we would love you to join us for a bite. Yeah, I couldn't resist. That is one of my favorite songs, join us for a bite and join the party. Oh, number zero, what? What is happening with these numbers? For Bonnie, it says number zero, interesting. So who's number one? Alrighty, so here we have Bonnie. Look at him, and the camera looks blue. Obviously Bonnie is not blue, he is purple, and he has his guitar. I found my guitar. Got his little bow tie, his guitar. These are so cute, I like how smooth they are, wow. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of glad I opened them. <laughs> oh, and I would guess it says this on the bottom for all of them. You twos, and of course, Scott Cawthon. All right, and next we have Chica. Chica, 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 Chica. Okay, here she is inside the box. Sorry about the glare. On the side, it says, so sweet. And on the side, of course, you have her. And, ooh, this back is different. She's actually reaching out for you. She wants you to subscribe. Come on, let's go, 400, woohoo! <laughs> hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group. My singing is a treat, but keep an eye on your pizza, cause I'm a bird who likes to eat. <laughs> I couldn't do the proper voice for that part, but um, yeah. <laughs> Come closer, let us smile together. Oh, that's so sweet. And so she eats you. All right, so we got Chica and her little cupcake, which I still cannot believe is named Carl. <laughs> Whoa, Chica's kind of big, wow. She's so yellow. It's so cute, her little cupcake, her little bib that says let's eat. Now I wear a bib that says let's eat. Of course you got her, um, her feet. And wow, her teeth, her cupcake, even Carl looks great, wow. Her little hair. <laughs> I have to say, maybe the beak is a little bit too big, but other than that, these all look great. They all look fantastic. And you can even see like a bit of the, the endoskeleton. I'm not sure if you can see that for the other ones. I'll, I'll um do a, a group, showing, in the end. And last but not least, we got Foxy, Foxy the pirate. Arg. <laughs> okay, sorry about the plane in the background. Here is Foxy. It's so cute. Number oh, you're number one. He was number one. <laughs> of course, we got Foxy on the side. It says, Arg, you never stood a chance. <laughs> Was that okay? <laughs> Never underestimate the cunning of a pirate, or a fox for that matter. Sorry, out of order. Arr, so much more spacious in here. I may stay a while. Foxy is really fun to mimic. <laughs> Look at Foxy. This looks fantastic. Wow. Even got the the withering on him and everything. You see the endoskeleton. His feet, his hook, his hand, eye patch, the teeth. I think this one might actually be my favorite. It's funny, this whole time I forgot to check to see if there was anything different inside the boxes, but from what I see, there doesn't seem to be any differences. All right, so here they all are, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, and Foxy. If I had to choose my favorite, it would be Foxy. <laughs> Even though they're all greatly detailed, I have to say Foxy I feel like has the most detail because wow just look at it and plus the pose is so cute <laughs> and then my second favorite of course would be bonnie and then it is a tie between freddy and chica that is actually kind of hard chica kind of gets brownie points for carl <laughs> but they all look great they all look fantastic i love them all they're all about the same height which is always good of course foxy is a little bit shorter because he's leaning down. Of course, uh, 
Freddy is technically the tallest one, but Bonnie ears, so uh, he's also the tallest one. <laughs> it's debatable. And then you have Chica and, of course, Foxy. So this is the FNAF YouTubes. By the way, this video is obviously not sponsored. I just wanted to do it just to, you know, as a thanks for 300 subs. Like I said, they all look fantastic. Color is on point. Detail is on point. Foxy is definitely on point. Bonnie's guitar is on point. Carl is on point. <laughs> all right, so that is it for this video. I know it was very short, but um, truthfully, I don't really have much FNAF merch left to show unless there's something floating around somewhere that I have not shown. I won't doubt it. Thank you all so much for subscribing, for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for enjoying my reactions, for enjoying me and my craziness. I know sometimes you guys suggest certain things, but there are just things that I do not know or have not seen, and it sucks because I want to expand my horizon and see what's out there, so I need to hurry the hell up and play these games. <laughs> so yeah, so of course, uh, if you want to see me play Five Nights at Freddy's, when, uh, Poppy Playtime and Undertale, Bendy and the Ink Machine, um, you can go to my second channel, Vivacious Gaming, of course, I know I'm not that fast, <laughs> but I am pretty much finished with FNAF 1. I just did uh, a couple more custom nights, so that video will be out soon. And then pretty soon, I'll be started on FNAF 2. So, let's see if we can hit 400 by the end of the month. I mean, I really was not expecting to hit 300. Literally, probably two weeks after 200. That's, I still can't believe it. Wow, pretty soon it's going to be 500. Oh my gosh, I already know what I want to do for a thousand. Confetti. <laughs> I really want to do confetti for 1,000. I don't know why. I just like the idea of having like a little confetti popper and just <laughs> like, yay! <laughs> Other than confetti, I would really, really love to do a live stream, but um, that was a disaster last time, so I'm not quite sure if I'm comfortable with doing live streams unless somebody helps me out with that. That would be fantastic. And um, eventually in the future, I do want to expand more. And by that, I don't mean getting a Twitter and stuff like that. I had Twitter for a couple... Actually, I had it for a long while. But then COVID happened and I got rid of it. <laughs> so, by the way, there's something I've been wanting to try. But I've been very, very nervous and hesitant to do it. Because I did it once. Maybe even twice for a certain fandom. And to this day, I feel like I didn't exactly receive a warm welcome. So I immediately stopped and decided that I was never going to share fanfiction of any other fandom ever again. So I'm curious, would you guys like to read any fan fictions of FNAF that I have done. I mean, obviously, it's it's not it's not canon. I don't really understand it anyway. It's all just my interpretation. I don't ship anybody. Everything is friendship. Everything is just fun, goofy. I do have some serious stuff written. My One of my friends, no. <laughs> some of the recent stuff I've been writing is kind of lore-based. Lore? Lore. 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 <laughs> lore. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, most of it is just my own interpretation, but um if to to if I were to publish something, it would definitely be something lighthearted first because I'm not going to say what fandom it was for, but I tried writing for a certain fandom and it's a shame too because I've been writing for so long in the One Piece fandom, so I take that experience and I apply it to the newer fandoms. So when I published my first story on fan fiction i thought it was i thought it was good but somebody left a comment and they said it wasn't very eventful i don't know why it hit me that hard that day but i guess maybe because it took me quite a while to get like 
the urge to write something for this fandom, especially since it's so... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I guess... Well, yeah, I mean, there is lore, of course, but it's a kid's show. I I'll just I'll just put it bluntly, it is a kid's show, but it just, I don't know, it, it, it made me so disappointed. Of course, you know, I didn't, ex I didn't argue with them or anything like that, but it just, after, after that, I deleted the account that I specifically made it for, and I just never published anything for another fandom ever again. So, I'm curious, before I step more deeply into the world of FNAF, even though I'm already, like, neck deep anyway, <laughs> are you guys actually willing to give a try to see what I have written? Because I'm... I am I am curious, because I, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, it just hurt. Because the way I write my stories, I write them in one-shot form. I have the ability to write a fully connected multi-chapter story, but a really great friend of mine knows for a fact that I'm better at writing it in one-shots, and you think a small detail is not important, but then this pops up like 50 chapters later and you're like, hey, wait a minute, I remember that from like chapter three. <laughs> so that's the way I've been writing for a long time, and I kind of wish I was able to make polls on YouTube, but unfortunately I cannot do it yet. I looked it up. Apparently you need 500 subs, so, um, yeah, let's get 500 subs! I can start asking you guys questions, because sometimes I do want to ask, um, what you guys want me to react to as well, and I have no way to communicate to you guys unless it's a video, so. By the way, I do have a certain goal for, uh, 1,000 subs like a certain uh, time where I would like to hit it. I'm not gonna say what it is. I will say that the goal date is a couple months away. So there is time, but um, yeah, I, I think it would just be really cool to hit a thousand before that certain specific day comes. And one more thing, it is getting hot. It is now going to be summertime, so this is eventually gonna come off, or I can just, um, leave it unbuttoned. I don't know if you guys would like that or not, because when I do FNAF, I like to wear the sweater. When it's security breach, I like to wear the other jacket, and then when it's poppy playtime, I don't have anything for that. So, <laughs> that's why I just wear the, the red hat and the other black hoodie. So, hoodie on, hoodie off. Either way, it's most likely going to be off at some point, whether even if it's just unbuttoned, but it is getting hot. I'm literally just hot wearing all of this, so the hat, unfortunately, is possibly not going to go anywhere. I'm just not very comfortable, to be honest. You'll probably never see my face. There's no reason to. This camera is not ready for that. <laughs> Once again, thank you all for subscribing for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for suggesting, for enjoying me and my craziness, for enjoying my reaction videos and my crazy commentary that sometimes makes sense and sometimes doesn't. <laughs> so with all of that being shown and said, I will see you later, alligators.